So I've rearranged my page so that I can see the instructions on the right and the code on the left. And um, what I need to do is add the header around H1. So here's my H1. And one way I can do that is I can just type head and it brings up the screen tip header. And I press enter to accept that and then complete the tag by putting the greater than sign. And there's my header and then I could highlight this part holding down shift and using my right arrow key and then control X to cut it and control V to paste it. And I've surrounded that with a header tag. I'm going to undo all that with control Z because I want to show you a little bit of a quicker way or a different way, sometimes not quicker. Is there some way I can automatically wrap that code with a tag? And up here under code, you have surround with, with a shortcut of control alt T, control alt T. Again, right? Logically, it'd be under code surround with. So I'm going to highlight that, press control alt T, and it says, hey, do you want to surround this tag with some tag? Yeah, sure, let's surround it with a tag. So I'm going to hit that, and now I'm ready to start typing a tag right here. I'll type header, and it's surrounded in red because it's still active and live, but I can hit enter, and it's now no longer active and live, and it's been accepted. So I could leave that all on one line, or I could come down here and put on separate lines. I could also do control alt, control alt L on the Mac, and, uh, and run that to reformat my code, and it's about the same. So the next thing I need to add is this line. I'm just going to copy it, <laughs> control C, and then press in there, control V. And uh, you see some funky looking characters here. And uh, down a couple, a little bit, you know, um, Shea explains that. And they're encoding special characters. And there's some characters that it's really hard for HTML pages to display if you just type the character in. For instance, what if I wanted to include uh, you know, a greater than sign, let's say actually a less than sign. What if I wanted to include a less than sign, um, right? You know, let's get rid of that line, but I just want to include a less than sign. What happens if I put that there? Will I see that when I look at the page? So let's go look. And yeah, I see that. <laughs> I see that less than sign, right? What about if that less than sign is inside a paragraph? So I'm just going to leave that less than sign and let's run it again. And I still see it. That's not the cleanest way to do it, right? Because that's confusing because that's your code. And if you go over to Wikipedia and look at like HTML encoding characters, special characters, right? I could also do, and that's a less than sign. I could also use this right here instead of that. And, uh, and now let's look at it. And so that's still the less than sign. So the less than sign, this is the proper way to do it, just because you don't want to have less than signs there, because your less than sign should just be your code. So likewise, some of this other stuff is hard for browsers to display, and it's better to use the special characters. Don't worry too much about which one should you use. Um, you'll figure out in time. And so you type that in, and there are the special characters. And the special characters are the dash and this other dash, uh, in dash and in dash. And they end with a semicolon. The special characters end with a semicolon. What would happen if we had it like that? Come over here, save that. Come over here, hit refresh. And it spaced it out a little bit. So the spaces play into that. So that's uh, doing this first step.